Hi everyone, I'm back and I want to talk to you about your next writing unit. The next writing unit is the Up the Ladder Information Unit of Study. It pairs beautifully with the Nonfiction Reading Unit. Okay, so just so you know, everyone has this book. So if there's anything you want to know um, more about, you can definitely access this or access the online resources, but we're going to help you unpack this. Um, if you haven't yet watched my reading video, I told you that I love to sketch note out um, the unit so that I can get a big picture idea how it goes and what the what the um, important parts are of each bend and so that I know how everything kind of clicks together. So volume, excuse me, so bend one of this unit is all about volume and stamina, like big time. So it starts off getting kids to plan information writing, how they would tell them how to elaborate, how to elaborate it with uh, W questions, including specifics, revising as they go, um, leads, endings, and, you know, revising, run-ons, and then has a little mini TED Talk celebration at the end. It's important to know that this bend right here wants the kids to produce three super short pieces of writing. Those of you who have taught fourth grade before, if you looked at some of the exemplars, you would say, that doesn't look like fourth grade writing. And it doesn't, and that's okay, because we're really focusing on volume, and stamina and to get the kids to write a lot. Um, and you're going to see that it's going to come back around. It's also, I really like the way that they do um, this TED Talk right here. They have the kids watch a TED Talk by a kid and they just um, discover what was important that this, how this kid structured his, and then they get to make one of their own. It's like a minute. So I just think this first bend is really about volume and stamina um, and it's fun. The second bend turns to organization and elaboration. And the writing goal of this chapter is by the end, they're going to have one really clear chapter that they have um, worked their way through in this kind of pink sort of bend. So it teaches them how to go from having a topic um, to getting their ideas into categories, chapters, parts, and paragraphs. And they start first with having the kids complete a table of contents and then write. They don't want them creating a table of contents forever. They want them to do that quick and then write. And it's also important to know that they're allowed to write the chapters in whatever order they want, okay? They need to think about their audience and what their audience want to know, and they need to have agency and start to own um, the work that they're doing and make plans for themselves about how they're going to, to do that. We think about design and layout, like where you put photos on a page, how that helps, as well as captions and diagrams. There's paragraphing in this lesson. And then there's a way for kids to offer really specific feedback each other to celebrate how they're growing. And I was thinking this right here seems like a beautiful lesson if we were all using Flipgrid that the kids could give verbal, verbal feedback right there. In bend three, which is the final bend of the unit, this yellow um, bend, this is really purposeful revision where they set goals and they really flesh out details. What they do is they get to go back and they get to choose one of the pieces that they started to write right here. And they get to choose how they're going to take that piece and really grow it in this last bend. Okay, so that's why it's really important to make sure that this is quick writing that's happening up here and the kids aren't getting really bogged down with chapters, like really, really quick writing. You're going to want to show them the examples of some of the writing from this first bend because it's going to circle back around in this final bend. So they set these goals. Um, there's so part about uh, having kids um, interview or collect surveys having them balance fact and thinking in their writing, which is really important, transition words, studying mentor texts, um, you know, commas, all those kinds of things, and then just really polishing up their piece, you know, including an about the author, a blurb on the back, and a dedication. One little note that I want to say here, the studying mentor texts, I just think that as we are reading nonfiction during our reading unit, um, it might be really great to just start to keep a little running list um, in your classroom when you come up uh, um, across a, a phrase or a sentence that you just really love what that writer did, you could start keeping track of that now because that's going to come up big time right here where kids will study the craft moves um, that authors have made that they want to emulate. Okay, so that's the gist of how this unit goes. I love that it starts off small and then it builds and that, you know, that there's more of um, a larger piece at the end that the kids aren't expected to start off writing big pieces right at the beginning. I also think it sometimes can be helpful to tell the kids, you're gonna do three short pieces here, you're going to write a little bit more, really flesh out a chapter, 
and then you're going to get going to get to go back. And I think sometimes letting the kids know that can be helpful for them um, as they think about the work that they're getting ready to do as well. Okay, I hope that was helpful.